This web-based training deals with the new generation of Siemens KNX Stali gateways. It presents the features, the ETS integration and project design, and the commissioning of the DALI bus components through the DALI gateway. It focuses on electrical contractors, KNX system integrators and electrical consultants. It also addresses lighting system designers. Learning targets. The student knows the options and features which the Siemens KNX DALI gateways offer the customers in lighting systems. The limitations of the Siemens KNX DALI gateways. How the KNX DALI integration is managed in ETS. How the commissioning is carried out. How the Siemens KNX DALI gateways can be used without ETS for diagnostics and troubleshooting. Prerequisites Successful completion of a KNX basic course. Profound knowledge of current ETS 5. Some basic knowledge about the physics of artificial lighting. Further information. Downloads of instruction manuals from the Siemens Gamma Technical Documentation website. Technical product information TPI. Application program description APB. Installation instructions BMA are on www.siemens.com slash gamma minus td. Chapters DALI introduction with fields of application General information on the Siemens KNX DALI gateways Configuration of ETS application Commissioning the DALI bus Diagnostic and test functions in the live commissioning tool for individual, scene and event functions. Commissioning the KNX bus. Notes on the diagnostic options for troubleshooting on the DALI bus. DALI introduction with fields of application. DALI stands for Digitally Addressable Lighting Interface. It also stands for a communication system for lighting systems where the quality of the dimmed light does not depend on the quality of the power distribution lines for it. In the late 1990s, a working group formed by the well-known suppliers of lamps and ballasts like Osram, Tridonic, Philips, Helvar and others decided to create a new digital control standard that would overcome the shortcomings of analog dimming. Analog dimming is either based on a DC control voltage for the ballast, ranging between 0 and 10 volts, active or passive, in this case 1 to 10 volt, or a phase control of mains power, which can be either leading edge, inductive and resistive loads, magnetic transformers and incandescent bulbs, or trailing edge, electronic transformers, capacitive loads. Nowadays, the challenge is bigger than ever, because energy-saving lamps, mainly represented by LED lamps now, are very tricky to operate via analog dimmers. Since 2002, the DALI standard is on the market. Siemens was the first manufacturer to develop a gateway between KNX and DALI, thus combining the benefits of a worldwide standardized field bus system and the benefits of a digitalized lighting control system. The DALI standard is defined in IEC 62386 parts 1XX system and 2XX control gear. The extension of the original standard, which was based only on control gear for lamps, that is outputs, now includes also inputs, like push-button interfaces or presence and light sensors in part 3XX controllers. The main benefit of DALI is that each lamp 
has the best possible electronic ballast to operate it, because normally the manufacturers have developed both to suit each other in the best way. The control of the dimming values is performed by a standardized protocol. Another benefit is made mainly for the contractors who have to install the wires. DALI uses an unpolarized two-wire communication line, which can be wired with the mains. The system limitations of wiring and addressing are as follows. The DALI voltage ranges between 9.5 and 22.5 volts DC, typically at 16 volts. The maximum current on a DALI line may be limited to 250 milliamps. The voltage drop between central controller and the ballasts may not exceed 2 volts. The wiring can be done with various cables, depending on the required maximum distance between ballasts and DALI master controller. So the maximum range of 300 meter can be obtained by using 1.5 square millimeters of cable cross section. With a 0.8 square millimeter cable, 150 meter maximum distance can be reached. The maximum number of ballasts on a DALI line is 64. This is represented by the so-called 6-bit short address. There is no reduction in the number of ballasts for the reason of high current consumption, since the standard for DALI ballasts requires not to exceed 2 mA per ballast. Therefore, you can always use 64 ballasts per line. There can be also a number of inputs or sensors, which usually have a higher current rating than the ballasts. The number of sensors has some limitations, which normally won't be reached. At first, it is limited by the guaranteed power rating of the DALI supply minus the summarized power ratings of all ballasts. The Siemens KNX DALI gateway offers 190 milliamps guaranteed current. Second, there is a limitation to eight push button interfaces and eight multi sensors per channel. Example 1 50 ECG have been installed. They use 100 milliamps, so there can be 15 sensors, for example, seven push button interfaces and eight multi sensors. Example 2 40 ECG are on the line. They use 80 milliamps, so 110 milliamp is left for sensors, but you can use only 16 altogether, which use 96 milliamps. There is 14 milliamp left, which could be used for 7 more ECG. DALI has the limitations to 16 DALI groups and 16 DALI scenes. If these limitations don't fit, one can still overcome them by using the individual ECG control and forming the groups on KNX instead on DALI. The communication speed is less than that of KNX, 1200 bit per second, but the protocol is also significantly shorter, only 3 byte instead of 8 for the shortest KNX telegram. If the communication overhead of KNX is taken into account, it is even 14 bytes, so the speed difference is not significant at all. The fields of application are naturally all what you can do with lighting. Manual control by switching and dimming. COM4 functions by scene control. Automatic functions by schedules and closed loop that is constant light level control.